stolen, he returned to Ghana. Mm -hmm. he, he returned to the motherland. Uh, one of the Pan-Africanists. And the first president of Ghana kind of was an Pan-Africanist. He actually sat in Du Bois uh, lectures while he was a student. So when he came back to become the president of Ghana, remember he said, the black man is capable of taking care of his own affairs. So we have Encyclopedia Americana, Encyclopedia Britannica. So they said that they have to have Encyclopedia Africana. So that was the job of the boys. The boys' job was to come and edit that encyclopedia. The boy at the age of 93 thereof, 93 thereof, honored the invitation and came to Ghana. He came to Ghana and started working on the encyclopedia. However, sickness and old age overtook him. He died in here in Ghana at the age of 95 years old. Remember, at about 93, even above 90, he so on it. He, he, he willingly came down to Ghana. And he moved back and he packed everything and came down with a wife. Now, he died and the home that was given to him as his home is what is now what we call the Du Bois Center for Pan-Africanism. When he was coming, books he wrote, pamphlets, scripts, manuscripts that he wrote, collections that he made, a collection of books that he made, and the work that he came to do, a piece of it, unfortunately is that ever since the death of Du Bois, there was no any conscious effort to continue with it. But I think three volumes came up out of his work. So that, the home, is what is called the Boy Center for Pan-Africanism. And this afternoon, we're going to go pay uh, our respect and homage to this ancestor. Most people at that age, wait, this one, this is uh, the gentleman on your left. The statue is called J.B. Dankwa. He is one of the gentlemen in the, the six gentlemen in the, our currencies, whose effigies are on our currencies. And they are referred to as the big six in African and in Ghana's politics. The big six in Ghana's politics. He was a big time lawyer. He suggested that we take the name Ghana. You know, the ancient Ghana empire was spelled, the Ghana was G-A-N-A, -A, Ghana. And that was the title of the chiefs. So when we, when we were, they were discussing uh, independence, because remember, the party was one. They formed the first political party, United Gold Coast Convention. Members invited Kwame Nkrumah, then uh, they were arrested in 1948 and put in jail. So when they came out, Kwame Nkrumah went away with the youth wing of the party and formed the Convention People's Party. So during the deliberation, they had said that if we should get independent, we'll go back and pick the name Ghana. So eventually when Kwame Nkrumah led us to attain independence, that's the prison services. This is a prison, but there's no prison here in, in Accra. Accra Township, there's no prison, but this is the headquarters for Ghana Prison Services. You mean okay. prison services? I mean, like, uh, um, correctional, like oh, oh, okay. penitentiary. Penitentiary, okay. So they went back and picked down, they added G, G H A N A. That's the only difference. Ghana. And that the name is Ghana. The ancient Ghana Empire, it was G A N A. Now, we, the modern one we have is Ghana, G-H-A-N-A. -A. And people say it is an acronym for God has appointed Nkrumah already. That is what people say it is. It's an acronym that says 
God has appointed Nkrumah already. Because looking at the people that formed the political party, Nkrumah was an employee. He was a founding father of the, a member of the United Gold Coast Convention. When he broke away, in, in prison, before they got to prison, Nkrumah was saying that we have to quicken independence. These people are about 30 years ahead of us in the plans they have already had. So we need to go really quick, fast. And the others were saying now, we need to make it cool. And you see, when you're playing it cool, the, the wicked mind is already ahead of you. You give him time. You don't have to give the devil for time. So that was the reason, that was only, the, and people said, in jail, they, they blamed him. You know, lawyers, businessmen, and doctors being put in jail? Yeah, that, 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 that thing, they are above that place. But for you, we wouldn't have been here. So that was why he was peeved. That's why he broke away from the party with a youth wing. And he said, hey, see, these people are elite. Their plan is all gonna work. Mine will work. And he's worked. Yeah. So, the boy center is where we're gonna visit. Uh, uh, I guess uh, Oman is taking care of it. So we just go and we have a tour. From there, we're gonna have some some, some traffic, but then right from there, we head them back to the hotel for the conference and also preparation for the, the dinner before conference. Yeah, dinner before conference. Okay, we're gonna have we'll go for you to freshen up. We have dinner and then the conference. Okay, we will announce the time to leave tomorrow morning on our way back to the hotel. Okay, this is the Republic of Togo. That's the, the embassy, the Togolese embassy, right here. Togo is a country to the east of Ghana. That's a good, that's a, an embassy. All the embassies, please do not take pictures. The next one is, your guess is mine. Whose embassy? KKK. Oh. KKK. Hey. Well, American embassy. The next one we come. <laughs> not, not this one. Oh, but it's coming up. Please, it's gonna come to your left. It's gonna come to your left. Please, absolutely no photography. My camera is in there. Your direction. <laughs> no, no. When we get it, just 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 put it off. Oh, absolutely, I'll do that. I'll okay. Keep the <laughs> no photography, please. So why can't you take a picture of the outside so, of the embassy? They just think they all of that. They're going to come for you. They're going to delete it from you. They're going to take your picture and they will be on their radar for forever. Right from today. Yes. They're already on the radar. Yeah, but I'm like... Yeah, once they scan your passport, you go to Ghana, and they're like, all right, we got some more of them coming over here. <laughs> it doesn't mean whether you're American or not. Yes, it's on the other side. They don't know who you're dealing with. Okay. <laughs> you know, I've, I've had the bus pulled over and, and security people have came on the bus and pulled people off. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you can't do nothing about it. And so, they, can they can come and tell you, it is this person wearing this hat, this dress, oh. and they come for you. So they can see in the bus, it's like, oh, you can see outside no. of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we know that. Your yeah, last time that happened was in Benin or Togo, and it was just it was just a mess. I just sat in the bus and it was like, was like no, you know the, the entrance points to Togo okay. and Benin. Okay. So yes, absolutely, we have to let people. Know. Okay, we turn him then left to your to, to, to the American embassy, please. Amani. 